Hi, I'm Tara from livingonadime.com and today I'm doing a video on how I do my manicures. Um, I normally don't have long fingernails in the summer, but this summer mine have grown out because I haven't been doing hardly any gardening this year. And um, honestly, the YouTube lives and Facebook lives have kind of sucked the life out of us. <laughs> We've been working so hard on that that we haven't had time to do anything else. And so uh, we love doing them. We just have to get the process done down a little bit better. But I'm going to show you how I do my manicures. Now, I just did a video on how I whitened my fingernails. And I had a tear here, and I fixed it with some toilet paper. But I'm going to show you how I do my actual manicure. And um, I don't get manicures. I went one time and it was such a huge flop. The lady did a horrible job that I've never gotten one since then. And the and what's even worse was the paint peeled off that night and I was not a happy camper. So I'm going to show you how I do it at home. Um, to start off with, I use acetone. 100% pure acetone. Michael put a link in there. I have it in the description below. And that's how I remove my polish. I find that it works the best. My nails are not very dry because I take a lot of fish oil. And so I have a hard time for polish staying on in general. Now, I just now got these little cotton rounds, these things. And they were two bucks at Walmart. And these actually do work a lot better than toilet tissue. I use tissue, I have been using tissue, and it just disintegrates and falls apart, and it I have to use so much, it drives me crazy. So 60 of these were $2, and this will last me at least a year, if not, well, this will probably last me longer, because I don't paint my nails that often, because they're so short a lot of the times. Are you talking about, there's Q-Tex, pure acetone. Yeah. Pure acetone? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I don't paint my nails that often that that would probably last me a really long time. So that's how I remove the old polish. Then I wash them with um, some Dawn dish soap, which I don't have today. Um, I'm just going to wipe them down with a little bit of water today. Um, so then this is my polish container. And today I'm using uh, Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Someone suggested the other day that I tried this and I haven't tried it yet to see if, um, if it will stay on my nails better. I did try this Extreme Wear from Sally Hansen and I put this on Saturday and it's, what's today? Tuesday? Wednesday? Wednesday? And today is Wednesday, and it finally started chipping significantly. I had a couple of little tiny ones. So this worked pretty well for me. I mean, for me, I'm lucky if I get to the next morning. That's how bad my nails chip. Um, and just so you can see, this is my cute little, oops. This is my cute little um, nail polish holder. I made this out of let me pull out some so this little thing was in the middle of my old bed and um i cut it up and made these little slots for my nail polish we have a video on living on a dime at youtube about how i made this but this is my cute little um nail polish holder kit so then what i do is i take an orange stick and i push back my cuticles like so. Oh wait. Get them all pushed back. Oh. oh, Mike's coming. He's coming. Okay. So I get them all pushed back, get all the polish off. Push them back. There's some baking soda from the last video on how to whiten your nails. Um just get all that out. Just push it back. I don't really have bad cuticles because I'm always pushing them back. Um, then on the other side, which is of course harder for me to do because I am right-handed, just like that. 
then um, you can put a base coat down and clean out underneath your nails if you've got something underneath your nails there. Um, you can put a base coat on, but I don't have any base coat right now. And if anybody has a good base coat, please let me know um, because I haven't found a really good one. Um, that seems to help. Okay, so then we'll come back down. So I'm just going to start with the polish. And I just practice. So I've just practiced over the years to where I'm just careful and I just don't slop it all over. Um, and I just put the coat of polish on like so. Um, I probably won't. Oops, I didn't get, I forgot to buff that down. Normally on my fixed fingernail here, I buff it with the buffer and I forgot to buff it down. That was my fault. Normally it's a lot smoother than that. Um, then I just put it on. Ta-da! Of course, I'm doing this right now and afterwards I'm planning on going into the garden. <laughs> Guess I didn't figure that one too well. Normally I do this when I'm sitting um, watching TV at night. I don't have to worry about dishes or anything. And this polish is really thin, which is good because thin coats are better. So I just put it on there. Okay, you can probably go out back up, Mike, and for the second coat, I'll just talk. They don't need to watch me do the second coat, probably. Okay. So, all right, got that on there. Now I'm going to let this dry for just a minute or two. I like this color. This one is Ginger Zinger. So I've never tried this one before. So I don't know. I think it'll be pretty in the end. Hmm, ask them if they have more questions. Do you guys have any questions or comments? Um, I'm just demonstrating how I do this at home. So I save myself 25 bucks a pop. Um, I know a lot of people do this for a bonding moment or relaxing or whatever, and that's fine. I mean, if, if you have the cash to do it, if you don't have the cash, I wouldn't do it. But um, <laughs> if you're in debt, this is something that you sh could be doing at home. Um, but, yeah. Uh, let's see. Sherry says the brush on that brand of polish is flat and so easy to use. I'm not sure if she's talking about that brand or yeah. they're talking about something else. This well. Sally Hansen. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, so let me show you. So this brush is flat. Can, you, can they see that? I don't know. Um, let's see. See how that brush is flat? Mike's going to come up. See that? That actually is a very nice feature. Okay that I like about this Sally Hansen. That's a good idea. Um, and so that is making it, I've never used this before and it is making it go on a lot smoother. I really like that. Um, um, Sherry also says I use watercolor. You use watercolor? It's capitalized. I wonder if that's a brand. Sherry, can you tell us what watercolor is? I've never heard of that. Is it a brand or is it like you take watercolors and paint your fingernails? I have no idea. Like I said, I am not a huge nail person. My sister-in-law, she's the nail queen. We keep telling her she needs to go to school and become a, a nail tech because she just has the most beautiful nails. But um, me, that I'm just a novice, but this is how I do it. Anita says your nails are pretty. Mine look like something out of a horror movie. It's so uh -huh. right. Well, and part of it is just taking care of them. Just make sure you keep pushing your cuticles back and take care of them. Um, now this one, I just slopped a little on the edge here. So I just take another nail and I just go along the edge and wipe it. And what it does is it's kind of crazy, but it puts a, a layer on the other side and then I can do that. Okay, so there's the first coat. Can you see? There's two coats. So that's two coat of the Sally Hansen. So I'm going to let this dry for just a minute and then I'll put my top coat on while I answer some questions. Okay. So that was pretty. I like that. We'll see if it lasts. 
It may not because I got to go in the garden after I'm done with this and get some gardening done. But um, if it doesn't, I'm not going to count that and I'll put it on another day and try it again. And Anne Marie shared a link to a top coat that she says is that's one she's found. It, Which she one? says Rock Top Coat. It helps keep your polish on longer. Rock Top Coat. Where do you get that at? Can you tell me? She because... has a link here to Sally. Sally oh, at Sally's? Okay. Well, I might try that rock one because I haven't tried that one. I've tried Out the Door and I've tried Opie and I've tried China something or another and I've tried, uh, oh boy, I've tried like six or eight different top coats and I've never, I have not had success with any of them. Does the rock top dry quickly? Could you tell me that? Because that's what I would like too. I'd like that feature. Okay, so I just put the clear coat, which is the Sally manicure. So here's the clear coat. And I have no idea how long this is going to last, but looks like I missed a couple of places. You're going to put it under pressure by going and going. Yeah, but I'm going to put it under pressure and see. Um, now I do, so you can see like right here, I got my cuticle a little bit. How I solve that is I just leave it. And the next day when I do the dishes, I'll take my fingernail or the orange stick and I just scrape off the extras around my cuticles. That's good. And then that's how I clean those up afterwards. I've tried using polish remover and it just doesn't work. I just miss and keep hitting my nails. So I just stopped and then the next day after my shower or doing the dishes or whatever, I just scrape it off. So that is how I do my manicure in about, I don't know, five or 10 minutes for really cheap. I mean, each time I do this, it probably costs me five cents maybe worth of polish for as many uses as I get out of the polish, maybe 10 cents, I don't know, but it's not very expensive at all. So that's why I do my nails at home because it's cheap. I'd rather spend five or 10 cents instead of $25. I'd rather spend my $25 on flowers for the garden. <laughs> so, um, Quite a few questions here. Nadine says, I've taken classes and can do acrylic nails. Just a tip about polishing though, a base coat is always better on clean nails than color and thin coats like you said. Two coats. I love the wooden sticks you can get with an angled flat side for dipping and polish remover for to easily wipe away any overage or mistakes while it's still wet. And I always add a top coat. I like clear with sparkles. Oh, thank you. Yeah, those are some really good tips. Yeah. Uh, Emily says, I'm lucky my husband paints my nails for me and decorates them as well. I okay. She says, I went to get a Manny Petty and it cost $85. Never again. $85? There's no way. That is not worth it to me. Sorry. It's cool that her husband does that. Yeah, that's pretty crazy that he does it. <laughs> uh, Becky says, OPI brand Navy Envy, or Nail Envy, bottom coat paint and rapid dry top coat is a long lasting manicure. It's the same brand they use in salons. She I tried that and it didn't work for me. It just peeled right off. But the good thing, so here's a tip. If you buy a color and you hate it, or it peels off like for me, like I tried the Opie and it didn't work, um, Walgreens and Walmart both, if you keep your receipt, you can take it back. And that's how I've tried several different kinds of nails, uh, nail polish is I am, um, Try them. If they don't work, if they say they're supposed to last up to two weeks and they last me two days, I take them back. Now, if they last me seven days and they're supposed to be two weeks, then I keep them, of course, But because I know it's up to two weeks. But I've never had anything last, even two or three days. Honestly, I'm really lucky if I can make it to the next day without my nails chipping I, and peeling. I I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's because I take too much fish oil for my fibromyalgia, but um, that's what happens with me. So, um, and I think this, I'm not sure if this is from this or from the previous one, but Carol said Teflon nail beds. My ex sister in law had nail beds that polishes and base coats didn't stick to. The trick was to use the finest emery board to leave a textured base that gave the polish something to adhere to. Yeah, I have tried, Paul, I have tried. Emery boarding my nails. I've tried buffing my nails. I've tried Dawn. I've tried acetone. I have tried, I think that's it. I've tried, I don't know, 10, 15 different kinds of base coats to keep them on and nothing sticks. I just, I don't know what to do, but. 
Tammy says, my sweet husband paints my nails too. We use Revlon color. I do have a color that I used to love that I think dried up. Yeah, it's not in here anymore. That I loved from Revlon that was really pretty. They have some nice colors. I like Revlon. And Nadine says, oh, and nail, nail oil on your cuticles afterwards is important to me. Yes, I do, after I'm done, oil or lotion my nails when they're dry. Um, I have my own homemade lotion bars that I use. Um, there will be a link in the description below to the homemade lotion bars. But, um, yeah, I have my own that I use. <laughs> Alderman Farm says, Mrs. Alderman Farms ain't paying eighty-five dollars for manicure. Reason number four thousand three hundred twenty-three that I married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me either. We're we're together on that one. There is absolutely no way I would pay eighty-five dollars to have my nails and toes done. There's just no way. It's to me that to me it's a huge waste of money. I totally get some people have a bonding moment with their mother or sister or anything, but still eighty-five dollars. That's crazy. Why don't you guys just sit around the table and do each other's nails and bond for free? <laughs> I mean, the point is, if you're in debt, you should not be spending eighty-five dollars to have your nails and toes done. You shouldn't even be spending twenty-five dollars. And if you really want to do something special, go to the beauty college and have it done for four bucks. But if you're in debt, you've got to stop spending on these things that are not necessities. There's no way I would pay $85 to have my nails and toes done. <laughs> and Anne says, I do my I do my manis and petties at home too, but I also went to cosmetology school, so I also cut and color my own hair and it saves a ton of money. Oh, yeah. I wish I could cut and color my hair because I cannot find a stylist, and I keep trying, and they just lop it off. Makes me so mad. Looks like that's it for comments on that, but Amanda had a different a comment on a, another subject. She just said, have you ever tried taking 100% food grade diatomaceous earth? I would love to see you guys make a video about it. It's supposed to be great for everything in your body. I'm just <sighs> learning about it and haven't heard anything negative. Okay, so I tried the diatomaceous earth, and I didn't realize I bought a, I bought a bag that was this big, and it was 10 pounds, and I have no idea... I bought it online thinking it was a bag like this big. And um, I tried the diatomaceous earth for about three days. And um, it gave me some very unpleasant side effects, let's just say. I don't know that everyone wants to know this, but it was very unpleasant. So I stopped it. I might try it again because I know that it's supposed to kill everything and help cure everything. But the side effects were so bad that there is no way I was going to keep doing it. Um, so now I have this big 10-pound bag of diatomaceous earth. And what I've been doing with it, though, is it's our bug killer now. So I sprinkle it in the window wells of my kids' bedrooms to kill the crickets and stuff. And I sprinkle it around um, all of the baseboards and behind walls we had we put up a couple of walls that we put it behind there to kill all the spiders and everything and we haven't not had a bug problem so taking it for my fibromyalgia it didn't do anything for me um but i do use it for bug killer so yeah Oh, by the way, Alderman Farms says Mrs. Alderman Farms is a licensed barber. She's con she's considering a live series showing you how to do your own hair. Oh, Mrs. Alderman Farms, that would be a great series. You should do that. That would really go well with your homesteading thing. Yeah, I would do that. Check out Alderman Farms on um, YouTube. They're great. I love them. I saw. I think it was you guys that did the sourdough. I'm sure it was you guys that did the sourdough the other day that I saw. Um, those look like some really good rolls. So yeah. Hmm. So Pat Twig says, when my hands are rough and dry, I give myself an instant manicure by massaging salt and olive oil into them for a minute or so. When I wash them, they're so oh smooth. Yes, I do that also. I use sugar instead of salt. And actually, I'm doing a video on that next week on how to make your own homemade scrubs. And it works really well. It's super easy and super cheap. And Orchid and, Orchid and Morris says, how do you fertilize your plants? Um... I buy fertilizer at the grocery store, or I mean at Walmart. <laughs> I, okay, so I know how to organic farm, and I do use compost and manure for a lot of things, but I do also use 
regular traditional fertilizer, miracle Grow for my containers, and then I use pellets for my gardens. Um, so I am not a complete organic gardener, but I'm also not all chemically based either. I only fertilize once or twice a year with chemicals and then the rest I do with um, compost and um, manure. But yeah, mom and I were thinking about doing a show on on that, but we're not sure. Um, but that's how I do it. So I hope you guys have a great night. Please visit us at livingiondime.com. Like, share, thumbs us up, comment, let us know what you think. And we will see you guys tomorrow night. Have a great evening.